Hello everyone. My name is Julianne Thorne and I'm a holistic cat therapist and soul activator for Cat Guardians. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I do something called Lessons from Leo, which every week means that I connect him with my cat Leo. We started to have his brother, baby Max. We've also had the cat that I had before those two, which was Pickle. And I've actually been receiving a lot of intuitive nudges to work with other cats. So we're changing the name of the segment from Lessons to lessons from Leo to Weekly Wisdom. And I can't guarantee that every week we'll have a different cat. But what I can guarantee is that we are, we are going to be receiving messages from whoever and for whoever that needs to be. So I'm going to look into seeing how you can put your cat in to get uh, to be part of this. But for the moment, I've got this beautiful boy here called Milo. He is a cat that I've done a commute that I've done a cat chakra cleanse with a few months ago now. So let's see what Milo has to share with us today. Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, he says, I am more than my body. My body is simply a vessel. You focus on the function, the issues, the problems, and forget that my essence is in here too. When you look into my eyes, see the being that I am not the shell that I hold. Your love is what lights me up. Your joy elevates me. When you're sad and frustrated, angry or worried, it saddens me. Know that this body is part of our journey my health challenges, the issues we faced, all part of your growth. But look inside, feel your heart and find your essence and then come to meet me. My light shines bright for you. Come into yours and shine bright for me. Remember, we are all connected. Understand that our pain and our struggles are meant to be because they help us to grow. They help us to evolve. Don't forget that. Let go of your worry for the physical and come into the peace of your heart. Meet me in the joy, in the light, in the space, not the limitations of the body, of the shell, of the outside. Close your eyes, feel your breath and find me, for I am waiting to be received. Oh, Milo, that is all. Okay, darling, thank you. Ooh, okay. So, oh, my heart feels like heavy, but just full of love. So Milo has had a lot of health challenges and continues to do so. I've, I've just looked at the clock, 11, 11. <laughs> I don't find it a coincidence that he is talking about feeling into his heart space, finding that light, that connection, that joy. <clears throat> we all can become lost in the sea of worry and fear because when we have our cats, our companions, our babies, whatever you want to call them, 
to think or feel about losing them that, or that they're in pain or they're suffering discomfort is is heartbreaking yet as Milo said and as I firmly believe we are all beings made of light and we have the capacity you even have the capacity to connect with their essence to feel into the being that is within the physical body it's just a question of taking the time and, and learning how to do that so I hope that Milo's words have given you perhaps some food for thought or expanded your awareness perhaps and if you'd like to know more about how to feel into the essence of your cat, come and join me for the Become a Soul-Led Cat Guardian program. It's a space to learn about yourself and also to feel into the energy of your cat. I'll pop a link below uh, for more details. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to Emma, Milo's guardian, for being brave and receiving his words. So I hope you enjoy this week's weekly wisdom. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.